All right, everyone. Well, good evening. Thanks for being here tonight at 11. I'm Taryn Mitchell. While the Lumi Nation made a stop right here on the Central Coast today in Gilroy to assist a local tribe. And our very own Stephanie Aceves was in Gilroy earlier today and brings you their story. I spoke with members from the Lumi Nation who brought this totem pole carved out from a 400 year old cedar tree to tell the issues and stories of indigenous communities across the U.S. <laughs> On Saturday, the Lumi Nation traveled to Gilroy to bring their traveling totem pole where a prayer and blessing ceremony was held and where participants are encouraged to touch and imbue the pole with their thoughts and their prayers. The goal to tell the stories, issues and struggles of indigenous communities, including the missing and murdered indigenous women, separation at the U.S. Mexican border and protection of salmon runs and rivers. Jewel James from the Lumi Indian Nation says with the movement of Native Americans going out to vote in 2020 and playing a crucial role in the presidential election, they felt they can do more. Uh, during that time, uh, we began to think about whether or not we have some statements we'd like to have delivered to the Department of Interior on behalf of Indian country. And so we started talking about the possibility of a totem pole going across the nation and began to address the issues that we'd have to uh, depict by the pole itself. Part of the reason for their travels is to highlight the local struggles of the location they're in. For example, the Lumi Indian Nation traveled to Gilroy to help the Amamudsen protect their sacred land called Uristak, otherwise known as Sargent Ranch, from turning into a sand and gravel mining operation. Uristak is the most sacred uh, um, site of our territory. I mean, it, it is a place where our spiritual leader, Kuksui, lived. And it is also um, the place where many of our most important and significant ceremonies were held. The sand and gravel mining project that is being proposed is called Sergeant Quarry. Currently, the project is undergoing an environmental review that includes an environmental impact report. But according to a senior scientist for the Center for Biological Diversity, a project like this could be devastating for the area. Um, it would destroy over 300 acres of habitat and it would um, pump out over 160,000 gallons of groundwater every day. And so it would be really devastating for a lot of the different habitat and species that are in the area. KION did reach out to the County of Santa Clara for further clarification, but they were not available. In Gilroy, Stephanie Aceves, KION News Channel 546.